and software within it that its memory which enables you to redistribute your connection which enables you to save your id and password your id and password is saved within the memory of this router this is a very intelligent device okay this also automatically you not you need if you have a router you need not to create a connection to dial from your computer <laughs> okay uh, ju just save this password or your password or id within this router which you have got from your service provider save this id or password user or password okay your broadband user or password within this device okay it will automatically when you switch on this device it will automatically dial verify user and password whatever is required and finally within a, a minute you will it will give you output internet within this lan output cable okay you need not to do even a single thing thing on your computer even not your server no not your clients in order to connect internet whatever you have to do do within this device this device can be accessed uh, the software of the device can be accessed in your browser computer browser okay uh, just connect this output to either uh, your computer or your uh, hub okay and open your browser open your browser and follow the process which i'm telling you right okay okay guys and girls after uh, making all the hard, uh, real physical hardware connections we need to uh, save now the username and password which you have got from your service provider that is uh, bsnl airtel vodafone whatever that would be okay if you had applied for a broadband connection then definitely you have got a username and password which you need to save it in your adsl router okay so in order to do that first of all we open any browser either uh, mozilla uh, firefox whether internet explorer whatever do you have you open it okay after opening you need to type an address in order to enter the software of the router which is uh, inside the router i will type 192.168.1.1 this address is variable it depends upon the model of the company which router you are using which dsl router you are using but don't get tensed uh, this address for entering in the software entering in the saving your password uh, this address would be written on the manual of your uh, adsl router go and refer the box of the router there you might have get a manual user manual on that user manual you will see that what exactly address we have to type in the address bar so that uh, we will enter in the software of the router to make any changes mine is dealing and i am using 192.168.1.1 after uh, uh, entering this address i will press enter it will ask for username and password but guys don't uh, think that uh, don't uh, think that you, this is the don't think that this is a place where you need to uh, enter the username and password which you have got from the service provider please do not enter your username and password of your service provider here okay this is the place where where you need to enter the username and password of uh, your dsl router okay because there are a lot of settings there are a lot of things which you have you can do in the router and in order to keep uh, secure they had provided username and password this username and password here uh, you will get uh, on uh, on the manual user manual of the router okay you search in your manual you, there would be username and password for your uh, router mine is admin a d m i n and password is also admin a d m i n okay now press okay and uh, after pressing okay i entered my device there are a lot many options okay this is the software where you can do hundred of options are there where you can uh, change the distribute uh, uh, restrict any clients uh, computer for uh, whatever the million of uh, you can speed cap uh, there are a lot many options are here right here okay but now what i'm going to say here is that how to save username and password so that uh, 
uh, you can use internet broadband connection on your computer or your LAN or your end network okay so go to first of all advanced setup right advanced setup after that click here add add and uh, now whatever is written here on the screen just go ahead with that okay it is uh, the most important thing which I'm telling you is that see here if you have to okay uh, now this is the most important part which I'm going to tell you is that uh, if you have an option if you are going to use your internet connection on LAN or multiple computers you have to it is damp mandatory that you need to select for this option called PPP over Ethernet because this is the place uh, this is the um, uh, technology which uh, enables you very simply to use internet on rest of your computers right okay select PPP over uh, Ethernet uh, and uh, leave all those options as well as it is go to next this is the place this is the place where you have to enter uh, the username and password of uh, your service provider which you have got from your uh, provider one okay uh, now I'm entering my one uh, mine is uh, P S W A M Y underscore S C D R I D okay and uh, this is the place where I have to uh, enter the password which I have got from the service provider and this tab you need to enter the uh, what do you call uh, service provider name mine is BSNL SNL. just to go ahead with uh, the provider one and this is the uh, uh, remain this is the most important thing as well MTU MTU depends on uh, decides uh, MTU this is MTU this decides that what exactly is the real configuration for your server don't get tense uh, just uh, right here uh, 1492 that is default okay it's varies it's a uh, varies it's just provided you a better speed on your computer it, uh, mine is I have determined manually that uh, it will be better for me that if I would use uh, according to my service provider that is a uh, 1500 ask your service provi provider that what would be better for your one okay just go ahead with 1500 or 1492 right uh, just uh, let's see all those things that was exactly this and click next don't enable IGMP multicast go to next now you are already set to be done save the settings once you save the setting it will ask to reboot your router right uh, once you reboot your uh, unless and until you won't reboot your router click on reboot save reboot okay once you review reboot your uh, right router uh, uh, see uh, right it is written that the DSL router has been configured and rebooting uh, it will take a maximum of two minutes right that's it just wait for uh, two minutes uh, look on your router uh, look on your router and uh, wait for uh, a DSL light to glow initially it will uh, blink up after that uh, it will be constant and for the after uh, half an half a minute or one minute more internet LED will glow up and that's it now you are ready to do each and every your each and every computer will get internet without doing anything any setting you need not to do any setting on your rest of your computers thanks a lot for watching thank you Okay, uh, now I will show you that what exactly the signals and LEDs indicates uh, and what does it mean exactly in the router. Okay, so uh, in this uh, EDCL router, uh, this is inbuilt with modem, always remember. Uh, after uh, giving power supply to this one, I'm going to uh, push the button which is provided in this uh, device and you have power on button and the power LED is glowing it means that device has got power now okay uh, this is set status symbol what exactly is being done this is LAN uh, whether your LAN, and LAN is operative or not uh, this is the US, USB uh, that whether you have connected uh, the, the signal which you have connected on your view, uh, back side of the USB is either connected or not that will indicate this is uh, this one uh, this two one uh, this two are very important uh, as I always like to tell you DSL and internet okay 
look at here dsl light is blinking what does it mean exactly that uh, if it blinks that you are getting a, a unstable uh, dsl connection from your service provider wait it uh, to be stable okay right this is now stable okay what exactly it mean if, if, if it becomes stable uh, that means that is that uh, if it is stable now means your service provider is okay there is no nothing wrong there is nothing wrong with your provider okay he is providing internet connection dsl connection ready with you now you have to set up uh, uh, set up uh, your username and password within this router and after that it will automatically dial and within uh, half a minute this button will go automatically if your username and password is correct you have saved correct username and password which i have shown in previous uh, uh, just uh, right now just few minutes back if it, that is okay it will automatically dial and internet is on if it, this right goes then definitely you would be getting internet connection within uh, the output of this device which you can later com uh, connect to your computer or you can connect to your hub in order to distribute your connection thank you very much for watching guys and girls if you have any problem if you have any confusion please email us thank you